Hey guys, it's Vance Logic. Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. In the last part, we got to Day on Hold, or we, we, I don't know, we tried going through Day on Hold, but unfortunately some monsters showed up, so they closed it off, so now we're going through another alternate route, which this hot lady, glasses lady, like, gave us, which is the Koi Woods, which we're right in front of right now, so let's continue onward. Ah, generic woods music. You gotta love it. A forest in a place like this can only mean... The Koi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. <laughs> He's like, nah, hell no, nah, I'm not going. Not going in? It's fine by me, but... Flynn. Crap. I know. Okay, let's go. All right, now we're here at the Koi Woods. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have noticed by now, but I haven't been cutting out battles. But that's mainly because we're trying to get some levels up and crap. Oh, man. That and uh, there's no need to grind just yet. So uh, once the battles start getting repetitive, though, I am actually going to start a. Uh, uh, I am going to start cutting out the battles. But right now they're not that repetitive. So, repetitive, I mean. So for now I'm just going to leave the battles in. Ah, I like I like to fight. And we got repeats level up. Good. And skip. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. <laughs> if you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Yeah, you would starve to death, so, uh... Yeah, nicely put. Anyway, make your way over here for an apple gel. And more fighting! More fighting! Don't get sloppy. But I want to... Anyway, I think we've... I don't think we've gotten these guys yet. Just the, the Philifolia buds, but these are the Philifolia themselves. Alright, repeat! Kick some ass! Kick some ass! There we go. Alright. So, more fighting. I want to fight some more. The taste of blood. I don't know. This one's pretty tough. Oh, yeah, and I still haven't gotten these guys just yet. We Axe Peaks. Be cautious. And apparently, these guys are hard. Because the. You get us. Son of a bitch. Holy mother of crap. Son of a whore. I actually died! Mainly because of their crappy ass spamming. And I got an item used on me, whatever. That's kind of pathetic when normal enemies can kill you like that. And I lost like a whole grade. Fuck! Well, screw you too, guy. And an iron circle it for Estelle. So, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to get her the Iron Guard on. There we go. So, while I'm at it. Also, I didn't get any, uh... Fucking armor for Yuri just yet. Mainly because he doesn't need it. Because I think there's an armor in here, so... We'll just get the one here. Save us some money. Do you hear something? My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no. Is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. What's that? Looks like a dildo. Nah, I'm kidding. Bless you. What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm all right. It wasn't an option. Huh? 
What's this? I told you, it wasn't an option. Damn, that's bitter. <laughs> you all right? Oh, my head feels a little. I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. It's sort of like the fuel that powers the blast here, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... And what if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. Damn right. Eat this bitter fruit. God damn it. Ugh. Huh. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a second. Yeah, stop forcing it. Something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That douche. That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. All he made was a sandwich. A sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. And now for the cooking mechanics of this game. Cooking clears your mind. And it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg, which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. And sandwich only recovers 10% of your HP. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Which is true in this game. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Yeah, it could fail. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking. But some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. He's like, yeah, why bother fighting it? What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? All right. And we learned the rest of your sandwich, and that's explained in the book, and yeah. Anyway, with cooking, we could actually uh, cook after a battle, so just get it. Repeat, when I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, I'm just gonna say right here, and as I was saying about cooking, you could cook right after a battle, so you could actually recover some stuff that you may have lost, like some HP. You get a magic lens right there. And you could even recover TP with some uh, 
mad, uh, with some recipes, but unfortunately all we know is a sandwich which helps us recover HP. And there's some hard meal, so good thing I didn't have to buy one for Yuri. There we go. So let's continue onward in... Hey, B! Hey! B! Get over here. Well, screw you two. I don't think there's anything else we can get, so let's just continue onward. Oh my god! No! No! I'll fight this fucker, but not that dude. There we go. Guess we can do this. Hey. Hey. Wonderful. There we go. Come on. Also, if you use... I'll explain right now. If you use certain arts... You gotta use arts a certain amount of times in order to actually get access to more arts later on. And we gotta keep for, I guess, Estelle or some... I don't know. We gotta keep and leather boots. Which one would be best? I think I'll give the boots to repeat. There we go. Anyway, you use enough arts and you can learn more arts later on in the future, but... Yeah, at least 50 times for the first time. Or at least 50 times each time. Sometimes you have to use them over 100 or 200 times. Also, with arts, uh... However many times you use them affects, like, the art itself. So, like, you use Azure Edge a lot of times, yeah, like, it gets uh, more range with each consecutive use and stuff. We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or, do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think... Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool. I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. Pete's all like, God damn it, you two are useless. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! And this guy you're gonna hate. Yeah. Break that weapon. Oh, man, that hurt. Pussy. I I'm warning you. I don't taste very good. You get the runs. God damn it. Eh. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. You goddamn weakling. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? What the fuck is he doing? He's like, hey, 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 hey. You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? No, I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia. Yeah, so the fuck what? What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh, yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? Dude, stop trying to show off. information about monsters hmm? after a certain point all the pages are blank all right i'm gonna leave it there so uh next time on tales of Asperia, we're gonna be making our way to halor so see you guys then